Subchapter 4.2. In this lesson, we start focusing on the main innovation of the new generation of standards, the context analysis. Clause 4 of the standard is almost entirely dedicated to it. Clause 4 of the 45001 standard is about understanding the entire environment in which the organization operates. In Clause 4.1, it is stated, the organization shall determine external and internal issues that are relevant to its purpose and objectives and that affect its ability to achieve the intended outcomes of its OHS management system. What does this clause really mean? The standard basically wants the company to think about anything that could, in a way or another, have some influence on how it manages health and safety. By thinking about it, we mean that the company has to make some sort of document in which this is all properly mapped. The standard basically wants the company to make this question, what influences the way my company deals with OHS matters? In other words, it wants the company to think about anything that could, in a way or another, have some influence on how it manages health and safety. By thinking about it, we mean that the company has to make some sort of document in which this is all properly mapped. This document is called Context Analysis. You may notice that we use the document icon which is needed every time that the standard asks us to put into written form. Now you might be asking yourself, why? Why does the 45001 standard want us to do this mapping? And why do we have to put it into a document? This is needed for two reasons. The first one is that this document is to be considered a sort of diary. By writing down every year a full report of everything that influences the company, we can have a sort of history of our business and how we managed to face OHS problems as they arose. By consulting this document in the following years, the company's management will be able to figure out quickly the strengths and weaknesses of the company regarding OHS. The second one is that context analysis is the first step in risk management. If a company is successful in mapping everything that is around it, then it could easily write down all the possible risks and opportunities that lie ahead. If a company is successful in mapping everything that is around it, then it could easily write down all the possible risks and opportunities that lie ahead. We will further explore these concepts in the lesson dedicated to risk and opportunities analysis. For now, let's just stick to the concept that good mapping leads to good risk management.